This is honestly unbelievably bad for Columbus. It was just announced that Zach Wierenski will be missing the entirety of this season with a separated shoulder and torn labrum. And I mean, watching the video just on first glance, this looks like a pretty innocent play. He goes for a hit, he misses it, and he crashes into the boards. However, if you rewatch it, you can see he definitely goes into the boards funny and his shoulder takes the brunt of the impact from a weird angle. Add to that pre-existing injuries and yeah, not good. And Zach Wierenski is not only the top D-man for Columbus, but is also one of their main offensive drivers. So this is a terrible blow to Columbus, which was already having, let's be honest, a pretty abysmal year. And the thing is, not only do the Blue Jackets now have to make up for his team leading 24 minutes of ice time a night, but there was also an injury to Nick Blankenberg in the game. So the team is calling up reserve AHL players, and it's just not looking good. Columbus was already bottom four league-wide for goals for and goals against, so losing such a key part of their team pretty much dooms them to the bottom of the standings. On the plus side, it's a great year to do that. Obviously, Columbus will probably fully embrace the hunt for Bedard. That being said, Columbus has had a lot of bad years and has never had a first overall draft pick, so we'll have to see how things go. I gotta say, it's unfortunate. I think Columbus fans were feeling a little high on the team after their first really big free agent signing, like true league-wide superstar with Goudreau this summer. After so many years of Rick Nash not getting what he needed in the team, ultimately leaving, I felt like they needed this, and to see the wheels coming off so quickly is just unfortunate.